The Swan Princess Story Fairy Tale Stories for Kids Today we have a book named The Swan Princess Story Fairy Tale Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In a land where magic whispered through the forests and rivers, two kingdoms were united by a hope. Princess Odette of one realm and Prince Derek of the other were destined to marry. Each summer, Odette's visits to Derek's kingdom bloomed their friendship, yet Derek's eyes were captivated more by her beauty than her soul. As they blossomed into adulthood, in the grand hall of Derek's castle, amidst a crowd of eager courtiers, Derek took Odette's hand. Odette, you're beautiful. Marry me and unite our kingdoms, he declared, his voice echoing with confidence. Odette, her eyes reflecting a storm of emotions, gently withdrew her hand. Derek, is beauty all that matters to you? she asked, her voice tinged with disappointment. The hall fell silent, the air thick with unspoken words. With a heavy heart, Odette turned away, leaving Derek in a whirl of confusion. In the shadows, Rothbard, a sorcerer with dark intentions for Odette's kingdom, saw his chance. He cast a powerful spell, transforming Odette into a swan by day her true form only returning by moonlight's touch on a hidden lake. Marry me, and I'll lift the curse, Rothbart sneered at her. But Odette's spirit was unyielding. I'll never consent to your wickedness, she replied with quiet defiance, even as she graced the lake's surface as a swan. Meanwhile, Derek, tormented by regret and realization, pledged to find Odette. His search led him to the enchanted lake. Under the silver glow of the moon, he saw the swan transform into Odette. The spell, Rothbart, only true love can break it, she explained, her voice a mere whisper. Determined, Derek announced a grand ball. I will declare my love for Odette, breaking the curse, he proclaimed. But Rothbart, cunning, and cruel, imprisoned Odette and sent his accomplice, disguised as her, to the ball. As the imposter glided through the ballroom, Derek, eyes filled with hope, confessed, I love you for all that you are beyond your beauty. But outside, the real Odette, trapped, felt her life force ebbing away. Upon realizing the deception, Derek raced back to the lake, where Rothbard awaited, his dark magic ready. A fierce battle erupted, and as Derek struggled, Odette, freed but weakened, arrived. Odette! Derek cried out, seeing her falter. He turned to face Rothbard, his resolve hardening. Your evil ends now. As their final confrontation reached its peak, Derek's declaration of love for Odette for her courage, kindness, and soul shimmered in the air. The spell shattered, Rothbart's power undone. The kingdom rejoiced as Odette and Derek, united in love and understanding, celebrated their wedding. Their love, a beacon of light, triumphed over deception and darkness. The Swan Princess, a tale of seeing beyond the scene, reminds us that true love embraces all that we are, beyond the surface, in the dance of light and shadow that makes each of us unique. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.